Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my makeup bag Monday videos. So I am doing my makeup bag as you can tell. I have all of these good products in here and a lot of dirty brushes still. Um, we're gonna flip some things out. This is the makeup I will have on hand. Um, everything else will be packed away for the move, so I'm going to take that into consideration while packing, but let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start by taking out all of the brushes. Honestly, I used to like keep my brushes separate, but this has just been so easy. So that's what I've been doing. Honestly, I've been pretty lazy when it's been coming to this makeup. So I'm just going to start taking all kinds of things out of here. Um, I'm going to kind of separate them vaguely into bottles, but maybe not because I'm just kind of pulling out. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, this looks okay. I was gonna say, should I wipe this out? But it doesn't look too bad, so that's good. Um, okay, these two are for sure going to go back, so I'm gonna put those off to the side. This will stay. Um, this is a tool, so <laughs> my mascaras will stay. Um, this eyeliner, both these eyeliners will stay. I usually don't use both of these on the same day. I like, will alternate kind of, so they have to stay. <laughs> they don't have to, but I'm choosing for them to stay. Um, my brow product, only have one of those. This is what I use to set my eye primer, needed. Um, I think everything else is going to go back. Yes, okay, so... Um, yeah, okay. Kind of gonna put this stuff together with what it is, just so. Okay, this is all my powder stuff. Okay, so let's kind of just re pull and work through this in the order of these products. So I'm gonna bring out the foundation type of products here. So these three items are going back. I really enjoy this primer, but I usually alternate between the two primers I have because they're both pore filling. Absolutely loved using this, but I wanna switch it up. And then I usually alternate my concealer as well. So I think the things I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this primer because it's the other primer I have and I like to rotate between the two. Um, I think, shoot. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pull this number seven tinted moisturizer because I really want to get some use out of this to use it up. And along with this, I'm gonna pull the number seven lift and illuminate. I also would like to get some more use out of this because it says expiry 11, 2020 which is in like four days <laughs> that's about to be right around the corner so this is a little dark but i can mix the two of these and get away with it also someone commented and said try using this as a bronzer it'll be like a supernatural but if it's a little bit deeper than like your actual skin tone you know it might look okay. So I really want to try that because I was like, I didn't even think of that. What a genius. I like to totally was not even on my radar to think about that. Um, and then I think I might keep this concealer in just cause I don't know that I want to use Glossier with these two. So I'm going to put these back. This stuff will all get packed away until we get to the new place. So, next I want to go through, I think we'll do eyes next. So, I am going to put back this ColourPop, a little quirky eyeshadow, one of my absolute faves because I was using it with this Fenty um, palette right here, which is what I was kind of focusing on. I am going to switch out this palette though. Shocking, I know, I never usually include eyeshadows in this um video I was gonna say project and I was like no that's not right I'm literally just gonna keep my singles in my like pan those eyeshadows type of thing and I think I want to start rotating out my eyeshadows because I got a feeling I want to declutter some of them so I'm gonna pull this out and I actually am going to pull in my Tarte Maneater fave palette of mine um 
lots of love as you can see this is such an easy palette for me so that is why i want to pull it in i can literally use like these three shades and this shade and i'm perfect good to go don't need anything else absolute favorite so actually i want to decide though what i would like to pull in with it not that i have a lot of options um crap i don't know i might do mac tan i feel like i've recently used this though but these are kind of like oh shoot these are like cool toned this is pretty cool toned this looks better with cool tones and then obviously i just used this and i just had this in my previous rotation so i think i'm gonna go with mac tan even though i feel like i really did just use it but as it gets more wintry i'll do the cool tone situation um i'm gonna do these for now and then yeah i'm gonna put that other eyeshadow palette back so oh boy okay we really have stuff everywhere <laughs> so i'm gonna roll this over let's talk about the cream products so i'm obviously putting back this cream bronzer because i'm gonna try that foundation as a bronzer type situation so i don't need another one of those um i'm gonna flip out the hollywood flawless filter for my glossier future do i like to interchange these two just like every other week just because i feel like they do very similar things in the way i use them um and then i had two cream blushes and a cream highlight what am i feeling picking out cream blush is like the hardest thing for me and i don't know why so i think i'm gonna do this as my cream highlight i feel like i just use that but i don't really have a lot of options yeah i'm gonna do that i don't know why i'm like so conflicted about everything i'm pulling today but i really am so i just had sweet peach peony in so i don't know that i want to do another nude sticks because i feel like that's kind of repetitive um i might pull this tower 28 what is this golden hour cream blush this is not very fall but I'm going to set this to the side because worst case, maybe I'll do magic hour. Maybe I'll just pull both of them. Why the heck not? And then I'll have, you know, if we get a really nice uh, warm day, I can use that. <laughs> not that I think that's happening, but yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah. That makes me feel all right. Okay. Let's talk. Ugh gotta resituate let's talk about powders so I was using my Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer this big honkin pan I feel like it looks brand spanking new like you can see all those lines in it still I swear I've used it um I thought this I would need to get use out of it like because it was too dark but it really it looks good I think I could use this all year round alternatively what should i pull oh i need this powder right here because i finished up my powder um i feel like i need to wait to get more fair to use this one so let's look at these two really these are like straight up dupes to me these are literally the same product in my opinion um is this in the shade light yeah it is okay i'm gonna use this milani dulce just because it has that little bit of golden shimmer this one has that same type of vibe honestly they're literally dupes like i said um but it's not as apparent and i think this one maybe is like a hair lighter like look at that like a hair lighter so i'm gonna do milani i'm acting like i'm tan or something but <laughs> i'm gonna do the milani um 
Next we have highlight and blush, which I really don't have a lot of powers of. So I was using Cover FX Warm Honey. Absolutely stunning. Wish I had Golden Peach, but I don't. Um, and I was using ColourPop Wisp. Freaking love this. I feel like this is a dupe for... Um, it's Becca... Crap, it's not Champagne Pop. Opal. Opal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously it's a super shock formula, but I feel like this is like Opal. Okay. So... Hmm. I feel like I always oh, use the same ones of these. Okay. So I think I'm going to use Tarte Party, which because it's just like really so neutral. And then obviously I have those two. So for highlight, I don't know when's the last time. I might use that one. I don't know. This one, I would really love to hit pan on. I feel like I'm so close-ish. And ish is maybe a strong, better word. I think I might use this. This is Dos Fuego. This was in collaboration with Katie and Desi. It looks darker in the pan than it actually is, but if I feel like I'm pulling like darker my tan skin products, so I think I might go with that one. Okay. I really might be in for a treat when I go to do my makeup with this new makeup bag. <laughs> um, next, here's the situation. I'm obviously going to pack everything up. Oh, crap. This has a tendency to leak, this clear one, so I like to put it in this nude sticks bin just so that it doesn't leak on anything else. Um, here's the deal. I'm obviously going to pack my bag, but I want to keep some lips out lip products because I'm doing my lipstick project pan. So I literally just used that one and this one and this one. So I don't want to use those again, but this is seeming really juicy for some reason. Um, but it is kind of old, so that could be why. Um, I also just really use this one, so don't want to pull that. Um, I think I'm going to pull, uh, Honestly, this shouldn't be this hard. And I just also recently used this one, so I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do Fussy because I absolutely love it. I'm going to do this Tower 28 Chill. I need to put these in a separate location. I think I need to pull maybe like five. I don't actually know for sure, but I'm going to pull like five-ish. I want to pull these two just because they're really calling to me. I don't know why. Fenty Sweet Mouth and then Kylie Clear. Honestly, these two are giving me very similar vibes, but I really want to pull those. Um, and I kind of want to pull Cheeky from Fenty. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, should I pull another one? This is Dose. Crap. Should I do something else? Okay. I think I'm going to pull Fenty Diamond Milk. I thought this was glass slipper, but the other one's glass slipper. I'm going to pull this just because I really need to figure out if I can actually wear this or if I'm just keeping it as like a collector's item because it, it really washes me out. And if I'm not actually going to use it, I want to, that to be on my radar and I'll maybe just like display it or something. Um, but I need to figure that out. So I'm going to pull that lastly and put everything else in here. Okay. I think that's good for lips. This is probably the longest one of these videos I've ever done, honestly. So let's put everything back into the bag. Um, I feel like I went through all the categories, so I don't know if I really need to recap, but let me just start. Mm, don't fall over. I'm putting some stuff away. I got a lot of round objects this time, it looks like. Let's maybe do this and this over here with this. <laughs> um, blushes, cream highlight. Ooh, this just, I feel like that's could get lost in there, but oh well. Okay, okay. I don't know. Eh, heck with it. I'm gonna put them in. As I use them, I'll pull them back out. So that's okay. Um, for sure, this can go in there. And then 
I need to at least spot clean my brushes before I put them back in here. So zip it all up. That is everything I have for today's makeup basket. The next one I do might be the same kind of setup because I don't know what my situation is going to be at the new place, but I may have a different type of setup and maybe less products if I feel like I haven't unpacked them or decluttered some or I really have no idea because I'm just kind of going into it very open-minded and without a plan. So <laughs> that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.